So I'm here with Cam Margus. He is an assistant coach for Centralia College. And, and Cam, you've actually been a part of Centralia for a number of years, not only as a coach but also uh, as a player. Kind of, what is it like to be here? You know, and have been on both sides of the, of the field. You know, it's kind of interesting. This will this will be year six for me at Centralia, and I've kind of seen. You know, obviously, I've seen the side as a player, and there's things that you don't see that go on at Centralia. And I, I've seen the side of, you know, being with one coaching staff and a new coaching staff, and, and getting to know the administration a little bit. And it's it's really interesting that the the, uh, the stuff that you that you learn that you didn't realize as a player, um, you know, all the the work that goes into things and and who really does what, and it's it's just kind of an interesting interesting type thing, and it's something that's been really special to be a part of. Yeah, you talk about, you know, you kind of see more things, you know, for players, they come to practice, they go home, that's it. For coaches, it never really stops for you guys, does it? No, I mean, you know, as, as a freshman in college, you get here and you think that you just show up to practice at 3 o'clock and uh, bring out the bucket of balls, but all of a sudden there's, you know, the bigger piece of recruiting that you don't realize, and there's the housing, um, and there's the, you know, grades, and all this kind of stuff that you deal with, and the budget, and all that stuff, and it's like, oh, wow, like, this is a tougher job than than you thought as a player, you know. Like, now you know why coach was grouchy or tired that day. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's pretty cool. And then you know, also for you, you know, being here, there is a new coaching staff, and and uh, it seems like there's a even over the last ten years, Centralia's had a real change in attitude uh, when it comes to their baseball program. And I remember a few years covering it that the team was very very relaxed. But it seems like now um, there is a kind of a mindset change. Um, not just in the organization, but all around it as well. Do you kind of see that as a coach? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think that everybody has a different style. Um, getting to getting to play for one head coach and and coach with two different ones. I think I've seen the, the different types of styles and, and personality traits. Um, I, I really believe that the the team takes on the personality of a head coach, um, and and I think that that's super important um, for the head coach to set the example and, and the assistants to be real supporters of that. And I, I've been really lucky to, to work under two really great people um, and, and, and play for a third in Coach Skinner um, and Coach Duke last year and now Coach Atkinson. And it's just really something to, to be a part of or special to be a part of. And, you know, as we're sitting here in the gym, I'm kind of looking up at the, the NWAC banners up there. And, and I know Coach Atkinson always talks about, you know, we're, we're going to put some banners up there. That's that's our goal to be here. And it, it's really exciting to, to be a part of that and it's just it'll be cool to finally get that done and then you know for for someone like you you know you played a number of sports in high school it wasn't just baseball and you see a lot of guys who are trying to do that baseball year round thing is that something you guys uh look at and encourage or do you guys like the, the diverse athlete um you know me personally i like the diverse athlete i, I think it teaches um one is competitiveness um you know, I, I think that's the biggest thing in athletics and, and really in life. You know, you learn a lot of lessons in, in athletics, and I, I think it's important to play multiple sports. Um, at least growing up, I think it teaches different athletic movements. Um, you know, I was, a, I was a football player and a basketball player, and obviously a baseball player at, at Kelso High School, and I, I think the things that I've learned um, from different coaches and from different movements um, I, I think really helped me out. Um, getting to coach basketball now at the high school, it, it's, it's, it's something else. You know, you, you learn different ways of, of doing things. And um, I, I do think, you know, players that play year-round baseball, I, I think it's good for them as well. Um, I think there's a smart way to do that, um, and that's something we can get into at a different time. Um, but, you know, as you're younger, I, I think through your sophomore year, I don't think you should ever be chose to, to spe or forced to specialize um, in one sport, you know, as a junior, senior, um, maybe. Um, but I, I would encourage um, players to play as many sports as they can and and, and enjoy their high school career. Um, I, I think once you get to college, it's a, it's a whole new world. And um, but I, I do, I like the I like the multi-sport athletes. Yeah, in fact, I just saw an interview with the uh, the Linfield head coach, and he talked about competing with your buddies. You know, every chance you get, um, he likes competitors, which makes a lot of sense. But then for you, you know, you did go through and play baseball at college. Um, kind of, what was your your motivation, and, and what kind of drove you to play baseball as your your college sport? Um, you know, actually, it happened really late for me. Um, I was. I was heart set on being a football player. Um, wasn't quite ready to leave home yet, and this gave uh, this gave an option. Um, you know, there was a little bit more upside on the mound than, than there was uh, playing quarterback, um, and, and so that's kind of what drove me to be a baseball player. Um, you know, obviously I love the sport. Football is, is still my number one sport. I, I love playing football. Uh, you know, we uh, 
as coaches, we just won the two-hand touch football tournament last weekend, so that was pretty cool. Um, but it was it was it was a kind of a late decision for me. Um, decided to come to Centralia College um, and and really got the junior call. I think there's nothing better than the junior college baseball experience. Um, but yeah, that was kind of my decision. It was it was really late. wasn't quite ready to leave home with some of the offers I had and. Um, I guess go far away. I was okay yeah. leaving mom and dad, but um, but yeah, that was kind of that was a big part of my decision for sure. And then you know, to make it this far, you know, it's not, you know, maybe there's a little luck, but a lot of it's work. It takes time, it takes effort. Um, who in your life was really kind of that that motivating factor, the person who kept you going and, and working even when you didn't want to? Uh, it's definitely my parents. Um, you know, I think my dad is is probably the hardest worker I've ever been around, um, and and he coaches in the the lower Columbia area and and does a lot for for youth sports. So I think he's. He's one of the hardest working people. He's he's home working on a, on a deck that at home right now that I think I have to go help with here in a little bit. Um, and then you know obviously my mom is probably one of the most supportive people. Um, you know not always in a positive way. Um, you know some of our players and, and past coaches know that. Uh, a good story with her is my first weekend as a pitching coach. I think we let up uh, 16 or 17 runs in one game at, at Wenatchee and. The first text I had on my phone was, geez, I thought you were a pitching coach, not a defensive coordinator. And, and so, you know, the, the boys always get a kick out of seeing Mrs. Margaris, or Mama Margaris, I guess is what they called her. Um, but, yeah, I, I've been really lucky um, to be able to, to have parents that are so supportive and, and such good role models for me. And last question I have for you. You know, you did talk about recruiting a little bit earlier. You know, a lot of, a lot of guys and even, you know, ladies who want to play softball at the college level, you know, they don't understand that recruiting, you know, that's, it's a big part of how they get there. So what are some advice you would give to um, high schoolers who want to be recruited? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that, that some high schoolers miss is, is, is not being proactive. Um, I, I think reaching out um, to coaches is, is really big at a personal level. Um, you know, doing it on your own, not having your parents do it. Um, go out and watch Go out and watch college games um, if, if that's where you're wanting to play. If you're wanting to play at the junior college level, go out to the junior college level and and watch some games. Um, reach out to reach out to coaches. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people. Um, I know our whole staff will return every call, text, email that we can, um, and I, I think a lot of people are like that. But I, I think, you know, just going out and being proactive and, and asking, you know, what the right things to do are. Um, you know, there's there's certain tournaments that that a lot of people are go to. Uh, um, baseball Northwest is is a huge resource for the for the kids in the Northwest. I think it's something that every kid should look into. And um, you know, um, the GSL tournaments and the the Pac Northwest games are great too. And and just getting out and, and being proactive with their high school coach. You know, telling their high school coach, informing him, um, I, I really want to play college baseball, or I really want to play college softball, or whatever. And, and that's what their job is. It's it's to reach out and help kids and move on and, and the biggest thing is the classroom um, you know get it done in the classroom um, because especially for baseball players there's not a whole lot of athletic money uh, a lot of your a lot of your money is going to come from academics and so um, that's the biggest you know advice that I can give is just be proactive and, and keep working hard and, and use resources you know there's a lot of resources uh, we're really lucky in the the Lewis County lower Columbia area that, that there's so many resources and so many good people um, that that uh, if you want to do it and you have the ability, it's there. Awesome. Well, Cam, thank you very much. Thank you.